What's good, YouTube, man? It's just Wiz. Got J. Capone back. So for another one. Fucking right. Yeah. What you been on, man, since the last time we linked? God damn. Shit, I just been chilling, writing more music, did a couple more videos, shit like that. Yeah. Staying out the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that little video, that Me Against the World, man, that was a good little collab from the both of us. Yeah. The song was hard, the visuals was hard, yeah, man. Yeah. I definitely appreciate that, you know, working with you and things like that, things of that nature. I definitely appreciate that. And, you know, we're still doing numbers, so. Yeah. So, lately, man, like, how you just been occupying your time? Really, you know, I ain't no different from nobody else. I've been working, stacking my money up, and, you know, taking care of my responsibilities. Spending time with my little son. And that's it. Yeah, so, shit. I see you at the starting room, man. God damn it. Yeah, like, it's really crazy, but, like, to see the black ball a nigga like bad. Like, and I ain't even like, I mean, I'm partially to blame for that, but I don't know what really just give a fuck, really. Like, you know, they gonna say what they say and think what they think, so fuck them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, shit, you know. You been working lately, like on any, any music, man? Yeah, yeah. I got some features coming. My boy Beast Man, I ain't forgot about that boy. I got some features coming out, so with T.A. the Snake, boy Jason, you know, I got a lot of features coming with niggas out my side, out the west side. Um, I got some features coming elsewhere too, but you know, they gonna be remain secret. I don't want everybody to know who I'm getting, getting on, you know, mixtapes and stuff like that. For sure, for sure. So shit, I don't know, man, just, it sound like really, man, you got some shit, you know, in the motherfucking pot that's finna, you know, simmer over or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all work and it's all progress, but at the same time, like, if people, I feel like the city where I met Brian being itself, like, they already got favorites already, so I can't really just change your mind. I mean, I can be the rawest nigga in your face. But if you got your heart set on somebody already or you already got a favorite, I mean, you know, regardless, you can't deny my talent. You just gonna look at it like, oh, that's just another nigga that rap, but he ain't over this nigga that I got as my favorite. And which might not be the case, that's a matter of opinion. You know, my opinion, I'm the rawest little nigga out here, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. So what just, you know, got you in this mind state where you feel like, you know, you just being blackballed, like... Man, I see it, like, they got this, you know, can I cuss on this, on this thing? You know, they got this procrastinating ass BCS hip-hop page, global, whatever they want to call themselves, supposed to be su uh, supported surrounding areas like grind, other areas like that, which is cool, you know what I mean? I ain't never been the type of rapper to get mad because don't nobody support me that's cool i figure like no support is all the support i need but at the same time don't claim that you here helping everybody and every artist and then when a certain artist which being me speak up and tell you be like hey you know how the fuck you gonna claim you a supporter page and you should share the same people shit people already know this guy rap people already know this other guy rap i want to know about the little niggas that that they don't know about. I don't give a fuck if they know me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to do my thing and shine regardless of what a motherfucker think. It's just like, don't claim to be somebody that's helping and you only helping a select few, you know? Yeah, hey, that's understandable, man. I'm pretty sure, man, everybody watching this, they're going to be able to feel where you're coming from. And if they don't, then, like you said, they already got that mindset from the drunk that, you know. Yeah, like, and I ain't even the type of person to hate on nobody. Like, whatever a nigga doing, like, that's his business. You know, like, whatever the other artist doing, that's his business. I'm only worried about me and the people in my camp. You know, I can't control nothing else. So I don't really just put that much, you know, reaching out to it. Like, you know, if, a dude, if somebody want to do a feature who ain't a part of my camp, that's cool, but understand that 
this is my craft, you're going to have to pay a fee. And if you don't agree with that or if you feel like, oh, this nigga think that he's somebody big, nah, it ain't that. They say time is money, you know what I'm saying? I'm paying, you paying for my time. You feel me? It took blood, sweat, and tears to write on this fucking pad of how I'm feeling or what's going on with this song. So that's how I'm feeling. That's how I'm rocking. Real talk. So any artist that, yeah, ain't rocking with Jacob Poem, no, it's a fee. I repeat, it's a fee. Yeah, and it's not just no, you know, he doing it just to do it. He doing it because this is his craft, as he said. And, you know, you got to either respect the game or keep it pushing at the end of the day, you know. And, and that's the thing about that. Like, I don't really just see too many artists that I would just go and be like, Hey man, I want to feature. I got a couple artists, you know, that I, I want to feature with JG. I want to get a feature with, uh, what's the name? What's the name? Uh, I forgot the name. Jalen, Jalen Steele. I want to get a feature with him. I want to get a feature with a couple, a couple rappers, but at the same time, like, I'm not going to. Be on no dick pulling shit. Like yeah, you ain't gonna go all out your way for yeah, no feature. Yeah, like all this dick pulling shit most other niggas be doing. Like, then if you peep game, like people are really, you know, they'll see you trying to reach out to them, and just cause it make them feel more powerful, they'll even take it to the extent of screenshotting, you know, making it seem like you worth some or something when that might not even be. Well, nine times yeah, out of like ten, that it ain't, ain't even the case. The case. Like, I'm going I'm to show it, like, I'm going to give y'all a scenario, like, I ran into a hundred niggas a day, like, de like, depending on where I go or whatever, I see niggas at the gas station or whatever, and, you know, certain of them be certain rapper niggas, and, you know what I mean, they see me, they be like, hey, what's up, Jay, blah, 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 we need to get in the studio, and I, the furthest here to go with me is Big, you don't make no effort past that, that's all it's going to end with is Big. Real and talk. if we don't never link up, we don't never link up. It ain't meant for us to do a song. Hmm. So out of all the younger artists, wait, do you listen to younger artists? Yeah, like I fuck with uh, I heard Lil Kelly got him a got him a little rap thing going. I fuck with that that nigga out the hood to one shit. Uh, it's a couple niggas, you know, a couple young guys, you know, what I'm saying that I really just. That I, I don't really just go out and, ah oh man, they drop some new shit, but when I catch it, you know, I listen to it, I pay attention. Shout out to that boy CDB, he just dropped another track, y'all go check that out on SoundCloud. So, do you think that at this point of time, or even moving forward, that you would bring another, like, artist under your wing, under the La Familia wing, or? Uh, if so, it wouldn't be fast as quick as I took some other people. I'ma tell you a little story about me. Like I had a dude that when he got out of jail, like nigga just got out of the pen, didn't know where to go to no studios, you know what I mean, didn't know what Air Lives was, didn't really, you know, comprehend on what the music situation was, you know, and before the nigga left he was he was uh, a real what I referred to or what I thought was a real nigga. Maybe he could have just been playing both sides or whatever. But, like I said, the nigga came home, that Right Now song, and if you look it up on YouTube, La Familia Right Now, it's like at 3.4K or, or something like that or something similar to that. And, you know, if you go look it up, you know, the video that was made, it was the remix. It's La Familia remix. It's not the regular Right Now. The regular Right Now was just him on it. It's no video, it's just audio. Like, and you gotta find that shit on SoundCloud. Hey, I heard your verse on that song, man. I feel like you really carried the whole whole thing. Uh, yeah. it, and that's the thing, like, when I rap and when I be spitting, like, I'm always coming hard. It's, it's not gonna be no lag. And if I feel like it's lag when I'm playing it back, or if I feel like it's not all of what I wanna be when I'm playing it back, I'm gonna tell the producer, I hey, scrap that shit and we're gonna do that shit all over again. Rather if we be there a whole nother 30 minutes, a whole nother hour, I don't care. Like I want that shit to be close to perfect if damn near not perfect itself. Real but time. like with that whole situation with that right now song, 
like I said, the the views don't lie, you know what I mean? Like, him by himself, he got a thousand something views, which is good, you know, I, I condone him and congratulate him for that. But at the same time, the shit with us on it, me, Fat Cat, Hivey, you know what I'm saying? You three times that amount, you feel me? Like, so you can't just say, the problem with that dude was, he came home, he did that one song, he got lit and thought that, oh man, like, oh, I know what I'm doing now. And he got, went to so far as, oh man, I'm gonna take Jay's company and things like that. And like, he would try to down talk me to my team or whatever. And like, thing is, like, they tell him like, bro, like, we gonna tell Jay what's going on. Like, and, and my thing is, he wasn't doing no more than what I expected. Uh, it's a story that Hey, I don't mean to cut you short But man, we gonna go ahead and Jump to the next question Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so later on in your career Could you see, you know Yourself, like, transitioning into singing Like, I heard a few songs Which you kinda, you know Working in it a little bit But I mean, just like, you know Kinda like Like, like full-fledged singing Like on some Chris Brown shit Yeah, yeah no. Nah. But I was so Maybe some like, but Fredo you got yeah. or some YB shit, yeah. Cause you gotta think at the end of the day, man, the bitches kind of like that shit, and I mean they keep your audience open. Yeah, true. And then on top of that, for me, like me personally, I just feel like when you say like, I'm gonna give a good example right away. Yeah. Like he's seen, and it's like you can feel out of emotion in a song. It's just like. I don't know. I just like being able to channel into the music rather nah, it's ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. I feel I feel that and eventually, you know, I hope my career does progress to that status. But you know, it's not nothing that I'm gonna rush so nobody feel like, oh well he copying so and so no, nah, like I want my own sound like that way if you know I'm singing, uh, it won't be no dis the no mistake like oh yeah, you know this Rod Wave voice and you know this Jacob Home voice. You know what I mean? So I don't want no confusion, so you know, I'm gonna take my time on it. I've been working on it slowly, but for sure. For sure, sure. Well, we finna go and wrap it up, man. Just with motherfucking Jay Capone. Yeah. With a fucking another one. Really? On Father's Day, man. Happy Father's Day yeah, to all the fathers. Shit. Salute to my son. I love you, boy. Yes, Lord.